If you use Zoom, you'll want to make sure that you have the latest version for safety, compatibility, and so that you have any new features. This is Allison from Computers.Mom, and in this video, I'll show you how to update Zoom on your Mac. So here we are on the desktop of a Mac. We're assuming, by the way, that you're using a Mac on which you have previously installed the Zoom app. If you don't have Zoom yet, you can use the link above to learn how to get it set up for the first time. The first step is to start the Zoom app. If you have Zoom in the dock, you can just click on it, but on this Mac, the Zoom icon isn't anywhere on the dock. My favorite easy way to find an app that's not in the dock is to use Spotlight Search. Just click the magnifying glass icon on the upper right corner of your screen, and in the search box that appears, start typing the word Zoom. You don't even have to type the whole thing. As you type, your Mac will show you a list of options that match, and normally the top hit will be what you're looking for. Here's Zoom as expected, highlighted in blue. To start it, just select it from this list, either by double-clicking on it or by pressing the return key on your keyboard. The Zoom app opens in a window and the menu bar at the top left of the screen becomes the Zoom menu. To check for updates, all we have to do is click zoom.us on the menu bar and then select check for updates. In this case, an update is available, so let's select update to begin the process. First, the update will download, which means it's being delivered to your computer. And then we click Install, which unpacks it and gets it set up for use. All you have to do is click on the buttons that say Continue and Install, as you've probably done in the past. For security, your Mac will ask you to confirm that you want to install the app. Depending on your setup, you'll either use a fingerprint or a password to allow the installation. Just to be clear, if you're using a password, it will be the password for the computer, not your Apple ID password. When you see that the installation has finished successfully, just click Close and the newly updated Zoom app will open automatically. If you go back and check for updates again, you'll see that you are up to date and all ready for your next Zoom meeting. One final note, most people close the app using the red button right here. That closes the Zoom window, but if you look up here on the menu bar, you can see that Zoom is still running. It's not a crisis to leave it on, but it will slow your computer down slightly and it's just a good practice to completely close apps you're not actively using. To do so, just click on the little Zoom icon up here and choose Quit Zoom. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave comments and questions below. Click like if you found this helpful, and don't forget to subscribe for more Computers.Mom videos.